So we're still at the campsite. We decided to get another night and spend one more night here. It's been really enjoyable, um, just relaxing a little bit, not being on the road. And last night I made a pot roast and had a lot of juice left over from that roast. And so I thought I would make something new. I've got um, three big honking chicken breasts and I'm gonna go ahead and brown that up with some garlic and some seasoning and then I'm gonna add that into the pot that we used last night with all of the um, juice from that so here we go leave these onions kind of chunky um, I don't know why just because I want to and I can <laughs> and I think I'll go ahead and put some celery in there coming out here to the campground I wasn't very prepared I didn't go into the grocery store and get any vegetables so we're just kind of been using what we've got which is good Aja donated the carrots last night to the stew because I uh, didn't have any of those and we didn't have potatoes and so I used um, we put some what were those that we put in there those little white thingies um, oh uh, chestnuts uh, water chestnuts and actually that was really good it was they were crunchy and um, I don't know, they just, they tasted pretty good. Alright, these I probably should do it a little finer. So, I don't know, I've got five, oh, what I got, four stalks here of celery. Oh, I've got some garlic that's trying to grow on me here. It's still, it's still good. And... I want quite a lot of that. You guys know I love my garlic. So this is what the sauce looks like. It's um, tomato soup, believe it or not. And there's a little bit of celery stock left in there and some of the uh, water chestnuts. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water to that. Just a little bit. The broth was just way too good to throw away last night, so we kind of talked about what we could do with it, and this is kind of what I came up with. And it, it's got a little beef in there left. Just a couple little strands of the uh, pot roast, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. And I'm going to do a little bit more here. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on the back side here. And I've already put a little bit of my oil in there. I've been using um, submarine dressing because it's already got all of the um, really good herbs in there that I like. So I just shake that up and then put a little squirt in there. I've got some in there, but I think I need a little bit more. And then I've got some risotto. Get some uh, risotto seasoning. Let's see what that tastes like. Mmm. 
Oh, I'm not going to put too much of that in there. Only because it's got a lot of... It's got a lot of sodium in it. I can kind of taste it. So I'll just put a little bit in here. Just for some added flavor. Since I diluted that a little bit. So the last time I was cooking with garlic, I was slicing um, the garlic in little slices and one of the comments was that I could use a knife and smash it and then you get more oils and flavor out. The reason I had, I was cutting it that way is um, I wanted them to just, I wanted them to be slivers of garlic. And when you do smash that, um, it's a little bit easier to get your, um, oh, what do you call this? The skin part off of there. Uh-oh, somebody's got some music going in the campground. My um, garlic's a little older, so it might have a little bit of a problem healing. I'm just going to brown this uh, risotto up a little bit. You see I got a new fancy little pan. Aja got a new pan and so she uh, gifted me this one which I'm really liking. It's a great hand for as much as we cook. So I'm gonna kind of just dice this up too. And then I'll leave some of them whole. All right, now I'm going to put this pan up here and I'm going to get this warm because this is going to go in the oven. Now mind you, I didn't measure any of the juices or anything. I know risotto, you're supposed to, you know, measure your liquids. But I don't really care if it's thick or um, has juices left over from it. That's fine with me. So either way is good. I just want it to thicken the broth up a little bit. But if it does it a whole lot, that's fine too. Alright, put some more oil herbs in it and get a little bit of butter. I'm going to go ahead and just cut these in half. care if food is cooked and it's uh, all different sizes. Um, when you're making appetizers, that's a whole nother thing, but when it comes to things like this, it's kind of rough cut. is kind of nice. Yeah, I'm going to use the Everglade Seasoning All Purpose. This stuff is really good. We're really enjoying this flavor. I'm going to turn that on pretty high heat because I just, I want to get them browned up. I don't want them cooked. I just want them browned up. I probably shouldn't have put so many in here because you kind of end up steaming them, but that's okay. It'll get a little bit of color on it.
you gonna go for a walk? Do you all wanna go? I am cooking a fall dinner. Oh, okay. I'm making that chicken with the um, leftover sauces from the roast last night. Oh, nice. So I'm gonna brown up the chicken and then put it in the oven and so I can't go with you. Um, when I said Scotty making that thing, they, they said they hope that you were putting that on your pan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got it coming. I'm actually working on it. <laughs> You're talking about the uh, corned beef, huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to go for a walk with you then. All right. I think I got these browned up as much as I want to because I don't want to overcook them. Scott, would you mind starting the oven for me? Okay, sure. All right. Scotty's going to light the oven for me. Oh. Nope. Here, I'll hold it. Okay, right. great. This is the only bugger about these. It just takes a second to warm up, though. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put it on 350. And I'm going to get this. It's going to get this hot. Okay. So I'm just going to let this uh, do its job here for a minute. It's just, I'm warming it up so it doesn't take so long in the oven to uh, warm up. And then I'll stick the chicken in here. Pop it in the oven. And I have no idea how long it's going to take because I've never made it before. I'm assuming it will take as long as risotto takes, which I've only made risotto a couple times, so I'm not real familiar with it. Oh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. So it basically just till water is absorbed. But the thing is, I don't care if all the water is absorbed. I have a lot of liquid here, so that's not going to matter. I just want the risotto to cook and give it a little bit of um, soupy type consistency, I guess. If it does, if it does soak it all up, that's fine too. I don't care about that. My purpose was just to use up all of the uh, liquid, and I had to add a little bit more just so my chicken's gonna sit in there. But it will definitely thicken up with that risotto in there. All right, let's get the chicken down in there. I'm not, I, I hope that the risotto will uh, cook okay in here. I've never done this before. I have done this like with rice before, but not risotto. So we'll see. I have to have a couple of them peeking up. Well, hopefully it tastes good because we are nowhere near a uh, pizza joint or restaurant so whatever this tastes like if it don't taste good then we'll have to resort to I don't know something I have a lid for this um, Asha gave me this too she gave me both of these because she got those new uh, pots and pan or she got a new pot and didn't want these two um, the lid that goes on here doesn't fit in my oven because it's got a pretty high um, handle on it but that's okay just uh, Cover it up like this and you'll be good to go. I just want that to kind of be sealed up. And I think I already set it. I'm going to put it on 350. stone there you go I will check it probably I'll probably leave it in there for I'm thinking probably 45 minutes and then I'll go ahead and check it then all right I'm gonna check it and see what we got going on 
in about 45 minutes. Did you see it? Did you see that? Oh, that is going to be scrumptious. All right. Well, I pulled it out. It's been 45 minutes. And yum, look at that. That did a nice job. Glad I added extra water to that. All right. We'll see how it tastes. I'm going to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top of it. And I'm going to pop it back in the oven for just a few minutes. All right, Scotty's going to get served up here in bed. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm so spoiled. Well, Aja and I are sitting at the table, so. We're not outside eating dinner because the bugs have come out in swarms. And I'm <laughs> not going to eat. I am not going to eat bugs in my meal, so I'm happy to eat inside here undercover from the good? bugs. It's awesome. All right. Thank deal. you again. Uh-huh.